Professor Eric Sherman, tell them, what's the name of our uh, YouTube channel? The Happy Pill Project. Yeah, what are the three things, the critical things that you're supposed to do? Do you know? Like. Yes. Subscribe. You gotta subscribe, yeah. And comment about how awesome you are. You could are. do that, yeah. You could comment. You could also share it. Share it with all your friends. Everybody, make sure you like Professor Eric. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Yeah. So four things now. Four things, We've yeah. come away with four. Okay. <laughs> Black belt level. Yeah. That's Black. it. I like your spats. Yeah. Um, we have been doing this head and arm stuff, and uh, I'll tell you the drill that we're going to start off with. Uh, I know there's all different levels in the room, so some people, let's just do the one. And if you get the one down, then you can get all four, all three, and, uh, and they're all the same move. It's just disguised in a different way. And we had been going where they're going left, right, left. And I'll explain right now. So I'll run through all three, and then I'll recapture them so they start making sense. Like, so you're going to go off a back take. And this one's kind of simple. You're like this, right? And he's already started making this turn this way. So why are we even going to force the issue? So in the first one, it's pretty simple. He's turned this way, and you're like this. And you're going, ah, there's like no way I'm going to finish this choke. So I'm just going to ask you to take his back. So the only difference is you're going to base this hand, and you're going to turn this hand up. So your hands were like this. So one hand comes up. And all I'm going to do is slide my base, this, this, um, my shin right behind and curve it exactly right behind the spinal cord, okay? So all I'm going to do is just make this transfer. I'm going to ask you to do one small thing, though. Your upper body, when you make this transfer, try your best to keep some form of a line behind here, okay? Try your best because hypothetically, let's say he pulled back hard and he gets some type of wedge behind here again. This leg is by itself on the other side. So be careful with that, okay? So I'm just telling you, just a heads up, okay? So I'm here, I don't want him to pull back, so I slide up, right? Make a good connection, I can go into a gift wrap, or I could pull back early and land on this side. As Soon as I land, we'll start the second one, okay? On the second one, right? You were here, okay? And now he's here, and he's doing everything with the other hand, and he's lacing through and he's wanting to turn. Okay, why can't I do it the other way again? So he's starting to turn, so I lace over two. And now I'm on this side, okay? So I'm pulling him back, and I'm going through the same thing. I'm on this side, okay? So you're learning how to do it two ways. And then what ends up happening is you dismount, and the third one happens a different way. You're like this, and now you're going dismounting, and he's starting to turn into you, and you're like this. And I just told you, you um, last week how we were going to try to capture and hunt, but he's overturning, and you've already lost this elbow, okay? And he's coming up. So as he's coming up, we have choices to make. There's a lot of different ways you can play at this, but I'm giving you a drill to take his back over and over. So this kneecap, go back for one second. On the third one, you, this is what you wanted to do. You wanted to hold on to this elbow and keep your, your um, knee line at this hip and then see if you could hunt something, whether it be a darts, a neck, a back, drive him back, a lot of things you could do. But I told you what the mistake was. was it wasn't a mistake, but you lost the elbow. Right? And now you've got to assume that he's going to keep turning on you. And you've got to make a commitment. Whether you're going to attack this upper top, you've got to take a sequence that you're going to go with. Okay? But I'm going to feed you a sequence. He's overturning. He's coming up to turtle. So I take this kneecaps out. He's come, this is where I was. I was like this. He's coming up. So I back out and I drop this kneecap right behind here. Right? So all I did was take this guy, drop him, and now he's in turtle. So I'm going to start as he's coming up. I don't want him to leave me, all right? So the only thing I did different was take this kneecap and slide it to this side. So I don't want him to go anywhere. So most likely he's gonna shoulder roll, but I've already caught onto this ankle. So in case he shoulder rolls, I could keep this pocket open and backstep it through. But my first reaction is as he comes up, I don't know what he's gonna do, and I'm gonna figure out what I do with this hand because I may try to reach for this elbow, uh, I may try to reach for that kneecap, I may try to see if I could put my hands together and clamp them together to break his hip down, but he's already come up. So my first reaction was to touch his ankle on the other side because I've already made this transfer with this kneecap to the, to the calf line. So my first reaction, I caught onto that ankle and now I'm gonna drive off this back leg to knock him down. As he falls down, okay, this is the same exact move. This kneecap is gonna go as deep as possible. On my second spin, is this kneecap's already sitting here. So I'm just gonna spin over to the other side and now pull him back again. And I'm gonna take his back. Whether it be in a gift wrap, I start hunting, back take, body lock. So the drill's pretty simple. You have three ways to go to the back. 
If you want to add a submission or something at the end, I'll let you do it. I care more about you going through the sequences on the, on the warm up. So you've got about two and a half minutes. You should be able to get to about three rounds on that. And we'll go three rounds of that before we start adding more positions. I'll do it one more time, okay? So you're gonna get three different looks on it, okay? Happens all the time. If this person realizes you've gotten some form of a clamp of a head and arm, he's gonna start turning one way or the other. Uh, and they'll do it different ways. Sometimes they'll bridge high because they need this elbow back because they wanna go knee elbow escaping, they wanna separate this knee, bring this leg in. So they want this elbow back. So they start bridging super high this way, right? And they start, this, this hand should have been through here, right? So bring this hand through, right? So here, boom. And I'm up like this, okay? And now I gotta make a commitment. I'll tell you different things. I'm gonna, I fed you it before where the guy had already turned. You can lace this hand through this way and punch it so that now I'm behind the tricep, but keep your chest like protruding forward because you have to keep this contact. Otherwise, if he pulls back, you don't, you don't have anything. Now you gotta start reaching for his, knee, his, uh, his elbow line. So when he's up and he makes that turn, your first reaction was, let's go back. Let me just keep it simple because um, unless you're advanced and like Saeed and Danny, they, part, they come all the time, then I'm fine with you guys going deeper in it. But for most people that don't come that often, we don't get to drill like these young men do. I got to keep it simple so that you don't mess this up, right? So we're like this. And three different, we said we're going to do it three different ways, okay? One was he looped through, looped through, and he starts turning on me. Okay, so I let him turn, and the only thing I'm going to do different is I'm going to rotate, right? So I was going to rotate behind the, sp the spinal cord line, hold on to this position. As I bring him over, either I'm going to body lock, hold his position high, and start hunting for the neck. On the other side, right? So we had three different looks. He turns the other way, right? He was like this. I'm here trying to choke, and I'm really like, oh, this freaking guy turned too much, right? So the only thing different is I'm gonna cup to the side, I'm gonna stay super tight, come around the back, and now I'm either trying to gift wrap, bring him over, and we're back on the same hunt. On the third one. I'll go super slow so everybody can see exactly how this plays out. I'm like this, freaking guy starts turning his, I'm going down, I'm going, ah. Oh. Oh man, and I'm trying to make this train. He's coming up already, so I dropped to the backside. It happened super smooth, right? Only thing I did was take this link out, but I reached for that ankle right now, so I'm, I'm good to go. Whether he shoulder rolls, whether he goes anywhere, I'm holding on to both sides of this lower half, trying to figure what I could do with this hand. I'm on this ankle for a reason. I'm sitting here in case he tries to shoulder roll, and so opens up the center pocket, but I caught onto this ankle. So as I start reaching for the far side, I start driving off my back leg. Now when I've caught the neckline, coming back the same way, I would love for you to grab a gift wrap because now we can take this a lot of different ways. We can go into an arm bar, we can go, we can dismount, we can do a lot of different things with this. So now I'm coming back the other way. So I've never stopped doing all three drills, whether I trap this hand, whether I drop his shoulder, come to an arm bar, a lot of different combos. Let's start with those three sequences. If you're not sure, just raise your hand. I'll come over. I know there's a lot of different levels in the room. If you're really good and you got a great partner, let's ram through them really quick. Let's do it, guys, whether you mount them or not. And he was like this. Let me just have this. And he's like this. And the kid was like turning. He's like this. And at one point, he made this commitment to spin all the way through the backside like this. Okay. You know, it takes a lot of time and practice. And like, I mean, you couldn't even see it coming. Like, you didn't expect that to happen. It was like so well done. Um, reason I'm describing it is like, if you consistently, right, I'm telling you, keep this position back here. And I see it for the advanced players too. They're like this, right? Like you don't think he's gonna pull back. And like, why is your head up here? Like, what's the purpose of that? Like, you, do, you could do as slow as you want, but do it perfect, dude. Like you're so, you're gonna do it all sloppy like that? And then like going live, you think all of a sudden you're gonna over revert to like perfect? Hell no, you're not. So why wouldn't you come in here with your whole body your, your chin, everything you got. And then you're sliding up and you go, okay, now I got this guy. But you're like this, you, it's how you go, just go through the motions. Is that how you go through life? Like, that's really gonna work? Okay, all right. I mean, you might as well drill, you might as well warm up and then just come over here and work out. And then when we're ready to roll, roll. Drill, with, drill it, like feel the move. Like, drill it perfect, drill it perfect. Feel the move, like feel it. So when you're super tight and in there, right? There's no reason for your body to be like this. 
like my head, everything I have is down here, right? And I'm like this. I go, okay, I got this thing so tight. I'm like holding on for dear life. He's fighting like crazy too to pull back. So like, I'm like this. And now you don't, you think, okay, yeah, I know. Who are you going to do it to? So you're 220 and you wrestled in high school and you're all jacked. Now you got this young lady who's got two kids and you pulled it off on her. Good job, good job, brother. Wave to me and I'll give you the thumbs up. Like, come on. So practice it correctly. Um, now, uh, one other thing. When, the le- when he turns into you, right, a couple of things. Don't fall back that easy, okay? I want to secure a gift wrap if I could. It's about control, okay? reason I bring this up about this so much detail is if you're off on the detail, you need that Kimura uh, because you need that gift wrap. You need more control. So don't just fall back, right? So get to the habit of like drilling perfect, you know? Um, and it is a drill, so why not drill perfection, right? So that, when he comes up, right, you got to make commitments at this point. You know when he came up to turtle at this point? He's like this, and I told you to bring this leg. And then I see some people dropping the leg in the middle, right? Or I saw this just recently where this guy's like this, right? Yeah, I, okay. And now what is that man going to do? He's going to dive underneath, and now he's going to lift his leg up in the air, and now your leg is stuck in here, Okay. So the leg doesn't ever sit like that. If your foot's in the center like this, your kneecap comes up because I can't let him get to my kneecap with his hands. So why is that leg in there? There's also a reason why I asked you to put the leg here as a pin because from the first day that you came in here, and they do these drills. I don't know if they still do it, but you're here like this, and they tell you, okay, shoulder roll, right? Okay, and then you get a little bit further down the line, they teach you how to Granby roll. I don't think he knows how to Granby roll, so I'm not going to ask him. <laughs> right, so, well, that's not going to go that great. Um, so either one, okay, but they all go off the same principle. They're going to go off the shoulder line. So my shin's on this line because I had a choice when he first came up. If I understood where the sequence was, when he first was coming, I was like this. He's coming up. So I took my line and I just switched it over, right? I could have played this high up here. I didn't have to go there. When he first came up, come on, right? Go to your side. Say, I'm like this, right? And he first comes up and I go, okay, you know what? I'm going to stay up here and try to dominate up here. But I got no hand attachment, right? And now my rear tricep is exposed. So when he either goes Granby rolls or shoulder, he's going to launch me up like this, right? So I would have loved to have put my hands together. He's a good, solid player. And he doesn't want those hands to attach, because they attach, then it becomes a nightmare to get them apart. And now he can start putting them together with the rest of his body to start dominating my, tri- my skull line, my spinal cord, the small muscles of my neck. And now he's dominating the rest of my spinal, the rest of my body. Okay, so I'm asking you to go low, right? And I would prefer that you go low depending on the, on the, depending on the rule set, the size of the player, the skill of the player. You have to analyze and read. Like I know in the early part, you just try to apply what you know. But you get better at it. Like, you got this arsenal for this type of player, that arsenal. You don't play the same game for everybody. In the beginning, you do, because you have a limited uh, knowledge of the game. So it expands. I'm telling you, like, precisely why you go where you go. I'm going down low because I'm not accepting, and especially in a real fight. In a real fight, like, I'm not staying up there. I got to get your hips to the ground because I want to violently hit you. And now, every time you get to this position, you get a little bit closer to standing up on me. So that's why I try to break your hips down. So I'm not looking at, so you give me a submission later. I don't want to get into about fighting. I'm a fan of real fighting. Very, very I'm a bare, real, real, real fan of bare knuckle fighting uh, because I think it's as real as it gets, right? Um, so the reason I made this transfer to this and this was I just told you about that shoulder roll and I have this ankle. So if he shoulder rolls at this point, like this pocket is wide open for me to punch my hand and go right back into this. So place your knee where it's supposed to go, okay? On the gift wrap, let's try to grab the gift wrap, okay? So let's go back to one of them, right? So one of them could be either way. I don't care which one you play on it. You want to go to the other one, whichever way. Let's turn it this way. So he turns this way. I come here, and I'm super tight behind him. I would love this gift wrap because it gives me a lot of control, okay? So before we fall back, right, and then start trying to trap this arm with this leg, or isolate him, obviously, if you want to, listen, we could always lunge forward, take this leg and put it over his head and fall back, 
or go down on an angle like this. Absolutely can. Definitely can. Okay? Big, big player. I'd rather choke him out. Right? If he has a gi or some type of fabric, I'd rather put him to sleep. Then, and then potentially I make this transfer and he's a good player and he bucks that way. Like my hands are locked in here. What if that's concrete? Like I, I got to think this out. Like do I really want to go that way? Especially on a really, really big player. I'm not going that way. Uh, I'm not I'm going to put my leg over. I'd rather go this way. Okay? So we're like this. And before we go this way, why don't we take the chance to go that way? The only thing preventing us from going this way is these legs right now because they're like this, right? But this one's the main culprit, the one on the bottom, right? So if I can, instead of holding this gift wrap, which normally be like this, like a Kimura setting, right? Instead, why can't we put both hands on it? So instead of me being here, why can't we put their hands on here? And we do have this leg because now before, I told you about positioning and sliding and angles, right? But now we're here and we got a lot of control. So we could always go back this way. We technically could go that way, but I told you good and bad to it. So why can't we force it? So we just talked about going over to the armbar potentially. We always know we could go back. So why can't we see if we can put him belly down, right? Because we do have this free leg, but I'm not gonna drive that way until I get this. So earlier we were taking him back off of these grabs off of the neck and spinning him, but now we got here. And so we go, hey, I just got this Kimura. I feel a lot of different ways. I got tremendous control. So why don't we just switch our hands to both? And now I'm going to make a suggestion, right, that we drive straight over. And with this free leg that's in here, how about we kick out that bottom leg? So what you'll see is me take a high step all the way over, base my head, and now with this free leg, start kicking that bottom leg out so that I can make him go belly down. And now when that leg's out of the equation, I could slide myself back down to get underneath this neck. And now he's in a really bad spot. And what's the worst case scenario? He pulls back and somehow we land this. Okay, so we landed this way and we're on a hunt of his neck from this side and landing. We're in a great spot. We're in a great spot, right? We could take this a lot of different ways on how you want to paint it. So let's take it the same exact way. Let's pick up one. You can pick up one. The most complicated one is the third one because that had a lot of bells and whistles. Numbers one and two ended up in the same spots. Number three ended up in the same spot in the end. You can do any one of them. If you have a great partner, I always use an example of Saeed and Dan drill so much, uh, Martin and Zeke drill so much. You guys know each other's patterns, so I'd love for you to capture as many of them as you can. If you've never done it before, pa practice one. Okay, so same position, right? You went through a sequence, whichever one you pick, you still ended up like this, right? So we make this commitment. Hey, let's go this Kimura. We know we could always go on bar, could always fall back, but no, this time we're not. So the reason I'm gonna ask you to switch is because only care about this top hand. As I'm driving and basing my head, I want to put this hand as low to a sternum as possible. So I take that hand out of the equation, okay? As I base my hand, it frees my leg up to do whatever I want. So as I drive forward, I base my hand. This leg's free to do whatever it wants. It's going to kick that bottom leg out. Once I have him belly down, I got to slide myself back down because I got a great angle at him now. Now I don't let that bottom leg come back, right? Because I, once I kicked it out and I slid myself back down, that, that bottom foot doesn't allow that leg because in order for him to get back again, he, I don't mind if he comes back this way, but I don't want it to come back this way. But in order for him to recover, he's got to return his leg back up. And what's the worst case scenario? He comes to turtle. That wouldn't be bad either because at this point, if he comes to turtle, I'm like this and I'm going, okay, we're going to belly him out again because if you decide to belly him out again, these toes, are, and unfortunately this hurts like crazy. Not everybody's going to be able to do it. You okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's prepared. Okay, so when I kick these legs out, I'm gonna keep his hips up in the air and my toe lines are gonna stay on the mat with my heels up in the air. There's some great videos of BJ Penn and his prime doing this. It's awful to be here. So now I could take this hand and lace it back underneath to finish. Okay guys, let's part, I'm gonna try it. Okay. Yeah. Hell, if you do. And, uh, and I'm to be honest, most people just tap. Like the pressure is so intense. Like, just difficult breathing, and then the guy's digging underneath your neck, and I'm like this. And now, Jimmy, can we turn it this way so they see the back side of it? Yeah. But I'm like this, and now I've gone belly down, and I'm like this. I'm picking the side up so that my heel just slides in backwards. I'm not a big guy, and that's not even me trying. That's a small percentage of what I could still kind of do. I can lift him a lot higher, and I'll slide my kneecap in backwards. So you should be able to get him up. The reason you put your toes on the mat, heels up. BJ and his BJ Penn and vintage BJ Penn. 
man, he would hold that position and just start going wham, 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 wham. Uh, it was great to watch. Uh, yeah. So thanks, Jim. Can I have you one more time? Um, this is just a, I know there's some geeks in the room. Um, there's a lot of us. So, so I say that as a compliment uh, because as a, to perform the game at a high level, you have to be a geek about it. Um, so there's some, uh, Cynthia had asked me this question. Uh, this is just rule of thumb on the three, the three moves. Um, you're like this, right? This is the easiest one where you cradle the back, right? This is the best one, right? But sometimes what happens, you come here and really this one, if you've done this right, right? And uh, I just gave a thumbs up to T because he, he was like so tight on it. It was really great. And what I meant by it is like, you're like this, right? And now you come to this point and you're like, okay, we could always fall back. I'm not letting this try. So I realize you can't get out of here. So I'm over here trying to figure out if I could grab this wrist because then I own you, right? And I'm like, damn, I can't grab that freaking wrist. And you're doing everything right. You shouldn't put that wrist near me. So you're keeping it long. And I'm going, hmm, if I relinquish this grip, I'm going, ah, I don't know. So I take my hand and I grab the other guy, right? Because I can't do anything about it. I can't grab that entire wrist. And I transfer my grip to this grip. There's a reason for this. You could fall back early, and it's a young lady, she's not here right now, but me and her have had some discussions because she competed three times. And she's not here right now, but she competed uh, one time, and I told her, you didn't fix that. And then she competed again, she didn't fix that. And then she went overseas to qualify for ADCC, and she didn't fix it again. If you watch the final, it was the third round, it was the end of the final when she had a chance to make ADCC. When she went back, she went off the grip. And the reason I mean by it is that you fall back and you, and you go on this grip and you're falling back. They're going to close this pocket with this elbow. So now when you land on this side, you can't get in there. And now they go the chance for those four points for you to be victorious, right? So that's why at this point, if you've owned this position, and she did, and she knows. I, just, I don't tell you any secrets because I tell her right to her face. I'm like this, and I come down to this wrist. Right? We're going to pretend this hand was long because this was number one, right? This was number three, but this is the best. This is the easiest, and this will get me somewhere. But I'm like this, and I go, okay, let me hone this guy and transfer to this guy because my body line, now you understand why I was so critical about keeping my position here because once I transfer, I'm going to hold and squeeze. But when I slide back now, that pocket's open. So as we're falling back at this point, now I'm in here, Trying to see if I go into wrist riding, body locks, like where do I go? I don't know yet. I don't know how this is going to open up, but I do know one thing. I go, oh, okay, hold that position. Oh, okay, one, two, okay, four points. So that's why I ask you, like, to understand the rule sets, understand the position, what's the value, and what, how we play it out. So Cynthia had asked a question. It was a great question. So you can see, it's like, that's the easiest one, right? But that's number three in the list. And then I'd rather have a Kimura because that leads me to a, a gift wrap that leads me to so many great things and an awesome control. But, you know, number two is also great too, but I want to understand why I do what I do, okay? Uh, Two-minute break. Uh, we'll get rolling in two. If you want to grab water, caffeine, anything you want. Let's do it, guys.